Hi, welcome to a TFT hyper roll, and this is my actual very first match that I decided to try on the PBE. I actually hadn't read that much about it, but I had heard that skirmishers were gone, but in reality it was just dragon slayers that were gone, and so Trundle and Pantheon were no longer part of it. So I was really happy to see skirmishers. I noticed they had a small nerf at 3 and 6, but a large buff at 9, bringing them up to 15 attack damage per second from I believe it is 10 or 12 right now at this moment as I'm recording this because the patch hasn't been officially released to the actual server so we don't know what it'll be when it comes through. But since I had played a lot of skirmishers in the previous patch, I decided, you know what, I'm going to try this new skirmishers out and see how they do because Olaf was always a really fun character to play in previous seasons. Uh, first round doesn't go too well, but we didn't have three skirmishers. I find Irelia, who is also a skirmisher, and I realized that Irelia and Olaf are also sentinels. So I'm thinking at this point there might be some ability to cross over between skirmishers and sentinels so i'm thinking of testing that out at this point because i've also noticed that senna is a sentinel as well so putting her in would give me the ability to have skirmishers and sentinels right at that moment it's not looking particularly strong but i decide you know what i'm gonna pick up the usual skirmisher items so i grab the negatron cloak so i can make a bloodthirster shadow items are gone at this point but i'm just gonna keep looking for the old skirmisher items which bloodthirster runin's hurricane rapid fire cannon I decide to use olaf as the item holder rather than udir since he has natural life steal built into his kit, so the Bloodthirster I thought would be particularly nice on him, along with the Sentinel buff that gives increased attack speed throughout the match. Now Cannoneer looks really interesting, because the way Cannoneers work is every fifth attack will do additional damage based on their attack damage. So I grab Tristana, because Tristana, once I put in cannon would also trigger the hellion buff because hellion starts at two in this patch and again this is what's going on on the pbe what's going to actually be released today that's coming out this moment as this video is going out i'm not sure but i wanted to put something out today so i had to pull it from the pbe and i decided to make it my first match I put out Nidalee and just go with the good old-fashioned Shroud of Stillness. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You get a Divine item. Since I'm doing Skirmisher, uh, the Runin's Tempest seemed like the obvious choice. Uh, I'm looking at just some of the other ones just to show what they do, but I know I'm going Runin's Tempest for this one because that's the Skirmisher one. But these are all super powerful attack items. Now I know in any skirmisher build, I'm gonna ultimately want to move items over to Jax. So I consider for a moment putting this on Udir, but ultimately decide to go back to Olaf, just because I already have Olaf's on the bench. So if I get a Jax, or when I get a Jax, hopefully, I have to always think positively in this, um, I can take an Olaf off the bench and replace him. Whereas with Udir, I don't have a spare at this point, and it wouldn't be a good substitution. Two star silver up our Irelia and throw out cannon and we're up to five skirmishers. I sold my Tristana and bought a Misfortune to keep on the bench because she's a higher cost cannoneer, so possibly more powerful. And then Luck jumps in this game and out of a golden globe I get a Jax. And so now I, I know I'm kind of off to the races. I'm not necessarily set to put out the misfortune yet but i have the opportunity to two star slash silver her put her and keep her on the bench put Jax into the game i switch out my udir for olaf because olaf comes with that additional sentinel buff now i'm not a hundred percent on sentinel being strong yet but i'd rather have an additional buff and see how it plays out this is my first game and i'm still sort of testing everything out or at least beginning to try to understand what it's doing uh here a loss still haven't gotten to the sixth skirmisher which i know is going to be key to pulling this game off uh, i decide to take the giant's belt here as just the best 
option because I can make a Trap Claw on Nidalee, which will give me that additional dodge chance. Her aspect of the Cougar appears to be the same as it was from last season with a 45% dodge chance once she changes into Cougar form. So adding additional dodge items will in essence help her become more powerful as the game goes on. And you can see it right there as she dodges over and over and over again. Um, Unfortunately, without the sixth skirmishers, it's not going as well as I'd like right now, but I know after this next group, I'd be able to get the sixth skirmisher out. I was really hoping here to get an additional recursive bow so I could make the rapid fire cannon for Jax, but sometimes you just gotta take what the game gives you and hope that you can make something out of it. I do pick up the additional Jax immediately. Nico's help him up to silver. Up to this point, I hadn't seen any additional Senna's, so I decide to just grab a more powerful Sentinel to put out, and Galio seemed like he might be a good thing to go with. Uh, knowing I'm probably not getting any more items, I decide to make a Giant Slayer for Jack, and then make use of what's ultimately going to be my Reforger. So I throw some items onto Galio with the plan to just reforge them and see what I'm going to get out of them. But for the moment, I think these will be at least decent items to keep him alive. I I'm really not sure what purpose other than tanking Galio would serve for me. So I'm not set on him as part of this build, but he was a Sentinel and it looked to me to be a lot better than a one star, you know, one cost Senna. Then I find Lucian, who I hadn't, didn't necessarily know was part of this game. I am so excited, I just think I can throw the Reforger on him. But I get him, change the items, and I get two items that I'm like, okay, yeah, this, this, this looks good. These look like good Lucian items. I believe his ult, since he's a four cost, is going to be his usual ult from League. So he's going to be firing multiple shots. And yes, that is exactly what happens. So we now have the six skirmishers and the three sentinels and Lucian just in the back line doing a lot of damage. But of course, it's Jax leading the damage charts. Pick up an additional Lucian, and now it's time to put out a misfortune so that I can create the cannoneer buff and see how that all works. Then I noticed that Action is actually part of this set. He's a new champ. Um, I haven't played him. I'm sorry, I find the name just a teeny tiny bit cheesy action, really. Come on, guys, couldn't do better than that. But um, I, I pick him up because I think there's going to be a way to work him into this build. Uh, this is an easy one. You can substitute out Udir for the Viego because he is going to be a much stronger skirmisher than that two star up the Lucian. There's another action town at the bottom, which I will grab. And I'm feeling like, hey, this could actually turn out to be a really good build on my first match. Although at some level, I feel like I'm kind of cheating because I'm just going with a build I used to use with some added extras because the skirmishers have gotten just a smidge weaker, but with the new radiant items, divine items, I'm not even sure exactly what they're calling them, but with those new items, uh, Jack seems even stronger than before. And with the cannoneer buff, and I'm just also having incredible luck at picking up things. As you can see, there's a two-star Viego just waiting for me to grab. At this moment in time, this particular comp is just feeling incredibly strong. It might be beginner's luck in terms of it's the first one I played and I came in with a certain amount of knowledge of skirmishers, but this felt even stronger to me than the previous skirmisher build. Um, I throw in action just because uh, he's not actually bringing me to the next uh, level, but he just looks like he's going to be a fun character to play with and I want to see what he does in the terms of this game. Um, I don't need a Lee Sin for this. He doesn't need to be in this build since I'm just stopping at the six skirmishers. I'm not going to nine. I two star the action and now with two silver legendary champs, I feel like this is going to be a really strong entrance into the new set and that maybe this is something I'm going to really enjoy. I'm just looking through to see what else there is, but I'm not sure that I can improve on this other than maybe taking someone up to gold. Uh, Jax is just super, super strong with that radiant item and having the two two stars is just making this a lot of fun. You can see action just running around the outside of the board, destroying everything as he goes. 
and I'm feeling a little bit guilty right now because ultimately I, I feel like I just went right back to the build I already knew, threw in a couple of extra elements and, you know, might be winning right now. But I, I guess that's cool because it's the build I already know. I wanted to go in and try new things, but when I saw Skirmisher, I just jumped right on it. At this point, I'm just positioning to make sure everyone's in their most effective spot to do as much damage as possible. I wanted to stay away from the Galio, I guess that is, up front, but Jax went right to him because he's got a Frozen Heart, and they have an Action as well, who's doing trips around the board. It's just kind of a funny mechanic to watch. It kind of reminds me of the Aurelian Soul from a previous set, but as you can see, Lucian and Jax just carry the match to the end, and to my first game and first victory and hopefully one of many to come unfortunately it's just on the pbe so it doesn't quote count in the real thing but just to show that this was my actual first game there's my promotion into the gray tier and my uh, promo game one of five hope you have an absolutely awesome day